Let's start by considering a point A on the curve y is equal to fx. Let's assume that the coordinates of A are x, fx. Now let's plot this on the Cartesian plane. We are given the line x is equal to 2, which is a vertical line parallel to the y-axis. The point A on the Cartesian plane has coordinates x, fx. And so the distance of A from the y-axis is x. And therefore the distance of A from the line x is equal to 2 is 2 minus x. Now let's consider another point B also on the curve y is equal to fx. Let's assume that the coordinates of B are x dash fx dash. So we put this on the Cartesian plane. Now the distance of B measured horizontally from the line x is equal to 2 is x dash minus 2. So the point B will be a mirror image of the point A with respect to the line x is equal to 2 if the horizontal distance of A from x is equal to 2 is equal to the horizontal distance of B from the line x is equal to 2. In other words, 2 minus x is equal to x dash minus 2, which implies that x dash is equal to 4 minus x. The second condition for A and B to be a mirror image about the line x is equal to 2 is that the distance of A and B from the x-axis is equal, which implies that fx is equal to fx dash. Plugging in the value of x dash obtained earlier, we get fx is equal to f of 4 minus x. And if we were to replace x with 2 plus x, we get f of 2 plus x is equal to f of 4 minus 2 plus x, which implies that f of 2 plus x is equal to f of 2 minus x. If y is equal to fx is symmetrical about the line x is equal to 2, if f of 2 plus x is equal to f of 2 minus x, and this is the required condition.